Well, here's the thing. You can't fight the odds. You can't beat the stats. And if the stats say to you, 50% of the time you're gonna get light mud or 60, you have a 65% chance of something happening, it's gonna happen. And I, one of these days I'm gonna actually accept that that applies, that rule applies to me. But until then, we'll keep making mistakes. So, uh, light mud, Nessie turn, October 15th, 1941, Plain Coast Blue, GB2 combined thingy. And uh, as an experiment, I tried to do a little attack up here. The Soviets uh, wisely chose to go low ammo on the attack uh, to keep their strength up. It made it a pretty tough attack, but the Germans rolled well. Um, rolled them 11 on a uh, just a two to one attack, which is pretty risky. Cost them a step, uh, cost the Soviets a step as well, and a retreat. Overall, not a bad result. Not sure why I'm doing that, that up there, but uh, we're soldering on, as they say. Here, I've got uh, a step uh, that had to roll for attrition and failed and lost uh, some strength. And here is some glare. That is uh, Rejev. It's a bit of a mess, but we're slowly uh, getting around uh, the entire Rejev area. And I'm also trying to block uh, throw uh, for trace capability um, up here uh, with these units here. And I actually had to uh, feed them off the map for trace supply this turn, which was expensive. But I think if I make them reinforce all of this, that'll thin this out here and allow me to finish encircling reserve and, and choke it off. Um, we've got four divisions five divisions here playing around in this area in general and uh, all struggling with very low movement rates. Trucks uh, have to pay four movement points on secondary roads, which is a bunch uh, per hex. Got everybody back into supply around uh, Viasma. I thought we had some issues there, but we managed to kind of wiggle our way out of those. Up here near uh, north of Kaluga, the uh, Das Reich and uh, associated forces from 11th Panzer have pressed up here and, and are putting the hard word on the uh, Soviets here. They had a great turn last turn, but uh, and I've got to fix this low ammo thing here. I have not done that, so let's get a little marker. Where is that big red X marker? Here we go. Let's put that guy there. We've got to fix that. I need to fix that. And then 20th, uh, 10th moved up to join 20th up to the west of Kaluga. Uh, the second Panzer uh, stayed in place from last turn. Um, just I don't have the fuel to move them, and it's no point paying to move them if they can't get very far. So they're in a relatively safe position. Uh, idea will be that we want to try and threaten the rail here at uh, Alecasino, uh, just to the northwest of Tula, as we attempt to advance uh, on Tula. Uh, the Soviets are busy building a line uh, along here with hedgehog units, but it's uh, not very strong here yet. So we're trying to. There's a little bit of a race going on to see who can get some decent units. Uh, into position. Uh, then, you know, Bryant's, nothing has really changed in Bryant's into pocket and slowly uh, using up its supply. And if we pop down into here, we can see the Orel area and uh, the extent of the forces there. They're all just inside trace supply. No, no action or combat, just uh, encirclements. And actually, I need to check. Maybe I missed a guy here again, too. Yeah, dang it. See, these guys, can't, these guys can't get here. I don't know what made me think I could move that far. That's kind of stupid. So, one of the good things about doing these videos is I'm talking to you. I'm looking at the map uh, with a different viewpoint, and I'm catching my, catching my errors. Uh, 
See, that's where the trace ends here. So these guys, I fueled them up, unfortunately, so they're not, they're not going very far, and they're not going very far. And they can't encircle that piece. So that's the whole move is kind of pointless, but that's where they are now, so we'll leave them in an effort to be somewhat half honest with myself. Uh, these guys are all okay, I think. And then we have the Battle of Curse Raging. And uh, step loss for each side here. So it's elected to take uh, take the step loss and not retreat out of Kursk and make the uh, Germans bloody themselves. While the, while the uh, Soviets uh, hope to reinforce that uh, in their turn. Right. I had a little bit of a mess up down here. I uh, had most of these guys out of supply, but I managed to wiggle them back into shape. Uh, Kharkov, we did a big uh, push last turn uh, to try and encircle before the bad weather weather came in. Um, so we got uh, most of a division. In fact, I think there's two divisions here. The 16th and the 9th division have moved up here with 17th Panzer Group uh, providing the necessary Supply. We supplied these guys with aircraft, uh, Heineken's, uh, Heineken's, <laughs> I call uh, 111's dropped, uh, dropped there, dropped T's there, and here we're just trying to do a little bit of cleanup on the right hand side of the screen. And then uh, not a whole lot of action down here. I had to pull back some of these units because I missed, I bumped the two extenders here and knocked them a hex and I had this all out of whack, so I had to pull all this back. Uh, we had all these guys encircled. It's a bit of a bummer. But never mind. I think we're going to put an extender here. That's where I'd like to put a truck extender. And that should help me <coughs> bounce around for trace that way. Uh, but i got to get rail. And uh, I have actually just moved a, a rail uh, conversion unit to here. Uh, in this turn, and I plan on uh, converting this this section of rail right there. And Sevastopol, not a whole lot of uh, movement over there. All right, that's kind of the wrap on the turn, and we will see what happens with the Soviets now in their part of the 15th of October. Thanks, guys.